Starting today, I am ordering, pursuant to my emergency powers, that certain events in King, Snohomish, and Pierce County with more than 250 people are prohibited by order of the governor. These events that are prohibited are gatherings for social, recreational, spiritual, and other matters, including but not limited to community, civic, public, leisure, faith-based, or sporting events. Parades, concerts, festivals, conventions, fundraisers, and similar activities of that dimension are prohibited as we go forward. The three counties impacted have been chosen because they are experiencing significant community transmission, significant outbreaks, and they are large population centers. We're starting with this prohibition through March for these three counties. It is very highly likely that that will be extended beyond March. There is no magic silver bullet at the moment medically, but there is a very successful uh, effort that we can take to slow the spread of this disease, and that's to reduce the social interactions that are not necessary in our lives. This is an effective tactic. It is at hand. All it requires is the will of active people to follow science and confidence that we're all in this together. And that's why we're taking these steps. Now, to be sure, ordering the cancellation of community events is an extraordinary measure, one made in a fluid situation in which new information comes to light hourly. I've connected with leadership of our professional sports teams, our businesses, large and small, as well as leaders of our represented workforce. And they understand that we must do everything we can together to protect our community. Temporarily banning social and recreational gatherings that bring people together will help ensure that a health crisis does not become a humanitarian disaster by working to preserve the limited capacity of the county's health care system. The governor mentioned this, and this is the core critical challenge to delay the spread of disease, to reduce the peak number of people infected in order not to exceed the capacity of the health care system. That is a responsibility of every institution and of every one of us individually.